What's up everyone, Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7 here with pack 4 for the Mitsubishi Zero from Agora Models. So let's quickly have a look what we get. Downloaded the instruction manual already on the phone, ready to go. Well, check out this. So another gun. This is a big hunking piece of metal, that is. Some other parts here. Seems like we have another motor, I think, because it has retractable landing gear. I think this is one of the motors for that. Get one side of the wing, check out that. Ah, sweet. Yep, some gears, some switches, some lights, and part of the landing gear has a rubber tire there. Springs. Another gun, it looks like. A lot of parts, and a uh, seat. Check out the seat. It's even got like the uh, seat belts in there. That's cool. Oh, it's got a little decal too that we need to put on, but uh, there's all the parts. I'll open up the uh, structure manual and let's get cracking. Okay, first stage, which is stage 27 for pack 4. Going to be attaching the seat. So there's the seat. Check out that. Little buckles, fabric as well. Nicely detailed, obviously. It's got silver there, green, nice brown buckles. Looks really good. We've also got the seat uh, adjustment lever, I believe. That guy there, and a small decal that you need a bit of like hot water in a dish and slide it on to the cockpit or the instrument panel that we did last time. Right in the center there. Now the uh, the decal didn't uh, actually work out, it just disintegrated when I uh, put it in the water and took it out for a little bit. Managed to get half of it on but no big deal, I can paint that bit black but uh, that's what it looks like. It's obviously it needs to be a little bit further down, I believe that's the compass but there you go, no biggie. The next step we have to actually attach the seat onto this previous part that we did in the previous stages. Now it glues into here, these bottom lugs just here, and it snaps into these two little, uh, they're like clamps that are up here. It says not to glue them because I do believe if you don't glue them and you unclip it, you can pivot because it's got like a little pivot here. But once it's uh, like grabbed in here, it can't come out anyway. So just got to glue there, and then we've just got to get the seat adjustment tool or seat, seat adjustment lever, sorry, and that goes just there. So next up we're going to be gluing the left side of the cockpit to the, the base here and it's got to line it up, it sits in really nicely, it's got these lugs just here, one, two and three just there, give it a bit of a bit of glue and that's it and then we'll be putting in the actual instrument panel next. Okay we're going to install an instrument panel into the left side of the cockpit, there's a little lug there and there and corresponding holes just in there, so it's got to line it all up a little bit tight in there, I removed the guns off the um, off their mounts just so it's easy for me to slide this in there there we go, now it's a tight fit underneath where the, the uh, pedals are, the rudder pedals that black, it's like these little pipes that got to go behind it but that's it, lined up pretty well make sure it's all still together and uh, basically the right side is going to go on the same little tabs and it just slides over just like that. You can see the tabs I was talking about on the sides here. One, two and corresponding ones there and there. That's it. And that is what you should be ended up with. Nice. I can put these guns back down now. It's easier to put that instrument panel in there. But they're easy to fix. But now Wait till that dries. So that's what you should be left up with. Left and right side, instrument panels in, all glued up. Now the last part for this particular section, we're going to be gluing on the seat, or the seat back. And it's just one, two, three, four, that you need a super glue on. Slide it in there. And uh, that should be all locked and loaded. Let the glue dry, because coming up, there we go. Coming up, we've got to route the wires through, got this little channels for the wires to right, route through but I'll let that dry and that is that check out that <laughs> that's one uh, compact little uh, cockpit there's an example routed through plugged up left and right side so here's the left side all you do feed it through the footwell bring it up here and just plug these in and that's it push them in nice and firm there we go kind of like a little click, they know they're in there because you don't want to be pulling all this in <laughs> and then find out it didn't work but next up 
we've got this like, I think it's, it's called a partition wall, but that was from the previous stage, uh, or sorry, the previous pack. You're going to attach it here. It's a little bit tricky. You've got to line up these little lugs here on the machine gun to the holes inside this partition wall here, just there and there. And obviously, we're not going to be gluing this, it's going to be screwing it. So, nice, just here, there, and there, and there. And the screws are provided from, I think, stage 19. Sweet, that's how it looks. Firmly secured there. And then you've got the oil tank, and that just press fits into these little lugs. No glue, just says press fit. So, push, and there we go. Oil tank, and then all we need to do is attach, this is the engine mount. Just says to glue that bad boy in. One, two, three, four lugs. And that is it for that particular stage. So stage 27 is all completed. Check out that beauty. Looks stunning. But let's move that to the side because now we are doing stage 28. And that is left main landing gear base. Now check out some of the details and intricacies in this particular set. Look at those gears. So a tiny bearing in there as well. That's crazy. Some um, ABS resin parts and majority of plastic. But uh, yeah, this set is, is amazing. A lot of detail in this one. Even the little metal uh, brackets in there as well. Crazy. So the first step here is getting that little orange gear onto the shaft for the shock absorber. So that is the shock absorber. And then the other side we're going to get after that put on the little bearing and these nothing gets glued here um, obviously everything's going to be rotating and moving so I'll just do these steps and I'll show it looks quick note that gear hasn't got a perfect circle in there it's got like a little notch and that mates up to the shock absorber shaft as well so just bear that in mind so it kind of locks it in now check out how small that little bearing is be careful pushing that on there make sure you're straight and true because you don't want to go off at an angle you might want to snap it off but uh, there we go this piece just sits in there, moving on to the next step. Check out that little piece. That's called the leg position pointer. And that's going to, I'm pretty sure, mesh up with that gear. This is very delicate this stage. Got to be careful. Need to use some tweezers, apparently. Very, <laughs> very full on. But uh, it's obviously just going to be sliding up and down this, that kind of plastic piece. But it needs to be in the right position, I guess. That's going to run up against the gear and move the, uh, what I'm thinking, move the actual gear leg up and down. So this plastic piece is just a retainer in this orange gear cup mechanism. It's got like a pin in the back so it only can move up and down a certain certain way. That's it. So you pull it out. It can't go further than that. That's it. So assembly time. This shock absorber unit has to be in a horizontal position. And this other piece has to be pushed down to the furthest it can go, just like that. And then very delicately, you just mate them all together. And that's that section done, just like that, see? Cool. Now you've got this part here with these little metal pieces on either side. Now you have to spread them and... In each side, it's a little hole there, so push it in and push it in, and it kind of you spread them apart. And then once you get the holes, it kind of collapses on itself. And then back to this side, once it's in, this side, all, all you need to do is put these little L pieces into that channel and then lock it off with this piece here. And then that stage is complete. That's cool. That's that stage complete. Moving on to stage 29, we're assembling the left main landing gear base and wheel. So you can see, nice rubber wheel cover. This will be a two wheel half to have to glue together. A bearing and another small gear. The first step, we're going to be sliding on the bearing onto the actual part that we just finished before. That'll be the, the landing gear shaft and then along with that gear as well. And also that gear has that kind of key in it as well. That kind of matches up the landing gear shaft so they can only go on one way that's it next up super easy step gluing these two wheel halves together and then attaching the actual rubber to the wheel feed it along the rubber on the rim and that's it that stage is done that was easy so we're left with that that 
and the cover we have to do on put that on later stage 30 still on the landing gear now this is a left main landing gear and this stage includes a mechanism built into the main landing gear support to absorb the impact during landing it's great so the main landing gear support is this guy here and uh, that's made out of metal nice and strong and you've got a few a lot of well, a lot of components here it's got a little spring Be careful we don't lose this guy a little spring they need to attach so you need to slide the spring onto that and then we get the main mechanism that we just assembled from before and slide it on there as well yes like that just slide that in there like that there we go and important step once it's all slid on you have to lock it away there's like a little pin there that we need to slide through what a note you've got three different pins now this is 008 you can see this pin isn't smooth it's got like a, a rough texture that's just to help grip when you push it in so you've got to push it in there and uh, once that's all in there nice and secure this whole unit shouldn't be able to come out just like that see now the pins locked it in there so you won't be able to come back out that way all done so you've got these two arms here lower and upper arms they need to join them with a little pin and that pin is number nine and that's the smallest of the pins so Got to join them together just like that very delicate i'll do it off camera just like that and attach it with the last pin which is 10 which is the longest one that's the only one left really now when i was trying to feed those little pins into these holes they were a little bit tight so I, like i had this tiny little drill bit i kind of just drilled it with my hand a little bit into those black pieces and slid it in very delicate but there it is there's the end result looks great works like the real thing First bit of glue on this stage, you've got to glue the lugs on the brake line to the to the holes on the main landing gear base cover. So basically gluing the lugs from the black one here onto the grey piece here. You can see flip it around to it's a nice colour on there as well. And once that's glued in there, we glue it onto the actual main landing gear. And that's it. So there we go. The brake line runs underneath there and just under that cover when it closes. Amazing details. That's the brake line runs down. And the next step we're going to actually put it on this to this piece just here and then the wheel and tire will eventually go on there and when you get this hub it says to glue it it's got a little notch there and this you see that the brake cables got a little kick up that's to go in that little small hole there it all lines up just like that and once that's on, we get our tire and wheel that we made earlier and take note of the direction, the recess part goes in. Don't glue nothing here, obviously, it needs to spin. And then we get our gear cover, or the, uh, yeah, it gets us a tire, gear, tire cover. And no glue on this point it needs to spin. I need to part is put a little bit of glue down here on that little lug. Sit it down there, squash it down, and that step is done. There we go, there. Stage 30 is done. Nice rolling wheel. Everything looks so detailed. I love it. So it's going to go up, down, and down. And when it goes back up like that, but everything is nicely covered. How cool does that look? Now, step 31 will be completing the landing gear assembly. And here is the left wing. It's not uh, metal or aluminium, it's plastic, but looks really nice. Simple step. You get. Uh, three or you get six screws one pair or one spare each and this small little screw you're going to be screwing into the side of the landing gear assembly and that is stage 31 so i'll quickly show you here just screwing that into the uh, housing there and that's it and then we're on to uh stage uh, 32. For stage 32 we get a few parts it's uh to do with the wing tip we'll get some lights here as well see more screws you get a spare of each and a small cog and a shaft now the first part of this step is just to put this shaft into this cog now these can be fairly tight fit so to slide it in that with a pair of needle nose or whatever you want so that's what we need to do there and then also this wing or this light tip here's a wing tip here this light goes on the end of the wing just like this and it's recessed so it just goes in there and it's secured by a screw and that's all it is secured by a uh, 07 screw there's two screws 
here's a longer and a shorter ones and the 07 are the shorter ones but that's all it is for that step next up we're going to be passing the LED wire through the actual wing frame and that's going to end up looking like that and then secure it as well with uh, two of those short screws as well and that's it stage 32 is done secure these LED boards make sure they're facing up now this is the left side of the wing so that's the top and this is the underneath so LEDs you can see little LEDs yellow LEDs are facing up and that's how it is so make sure you follow these uh, wiring underneath here underneath there as well and that's it now stage 34 we're going to be putting this little circle board in the wing itself an LED um, and also we have the cannon here so the LED is going to go into this into this cannon it's going to make sure we we got to bend this at a 90 degree angle to fit in the housing and this circle board just goes in the wing just like that so we have to flip it around and it goes just in there pretty easy you can see with the LED you have to fit it into the housing of the the cannon and that's it you have to just bend it at a 90 degree angle so it can actually fit into the housing pretty easy I'll get that out we'll just have a bit of a crazy going on there but I'll fit it in there and I'll show you how it looks there's that little small circle board you got these little switches there as well so they are tiny little switches so that's secured with uh, number four screws here is a cannon there is a little LED in there and all this goes in the wing but there's a little a little peg there line it up and that's it line it up down there push it down this side it's got a press pressure fit and then all we need to do is secure it with the same screw, number four screw. And that is it. Looking good. So far. A lot of fiddly bits in here, but pretty enjoyable. And I'll feed that cable down there, out of the way. I'll secure it with the screw. And that's that stage done. So stage 34, we're going to be doing the landing gear and the motor itself. So here is the landing gear motor. Pretty sweet little thing. And it comes with a little cog, so that's all you get with stage 34. But what you need to do you get your previously built landing gear this nice little unit and that actually is going to go in the wing itself okay so you get your whole landing gear mechanism that you made before and it sits in this channel just here if it's not fitting well just make sure this bearing is pushed back as far like you know as far as it can go because then it'll sit in its own little channel there and you'll see that it's got like this little cam just there so when it retracts you know opens and closes those little switches know when to turn it on or off that's all it is and you lock it away with uh, number three screw there the shorter one and number four screw at the back and that's it now next up on that stage you get to get this little cog here and push it on just there that's it okay now with the motor you feed the wires down this same hole where the other two wires went and this just simply fits into there pushes down there nicely and then you get the gear that we previously made in the other stage and that just sits in like that it's going to be pushed down a little bit and make sure everything's nice and flush just like this and then we're going to cap it off with this piece that kind of holds everything down and there we go there Four screws, now these screws are from stage 32 and they are number six screws. There we go there. Locked and loaded. Little motor is all attached. There's the gears you can see in there, so hopefully it's all good. Nice. Next step, we are up to nearly finish this pack actually. 35, assembling the main covers. In this stage you will assemble the covers for the landing gear. Now basically you ended up with these, you have these little wire pieces and you can see that there's one side long and one side short. It's got to follow the instructions, it tells you very easily. Small little piece here that clips onto the wire piece. And that is it, got to make one for each side. That's it, pretty simple but uh, very easy to follow in the instructions. Once you do that, the stage is completely left over with some parts but uh, you don't need them yet. Now the last stage, 36 in this pack, he's going to be attaching everything to this huge piece. This is all aluminium or uh, it's really nicely 
It's already painted and everything like that. It's got a bit of silver at the front there. And it's attaching those gear covers that we just made. The uh, It's got these little channels where everything's got to sit into and it says left and right. So you've got to make sure you got the right one. And that also falls true with these covers. Now these covers are the pieces that are going to be securing these. So they'll just go over them like that. Going to be, there's two screws that uh, secure them and that's just basically you can see that little mechanism in there. So you got one for the left and right side. They're exactly the same. A little bit tricky, especially on camera, but it's uh, not that hard to do. The screws that you lock these away are from pack 35, so just keep that in mind. And there we go. Done. Now next step, we're gonna mate these two together. So you get your wing, and you kind of just make sure that the wheel goes into the housing there. And you kind of just wiggle it through, and there's these raised pegs there where the screws will go. Put it down, and that is it. You're going to be locking away with the screws that you get with this uh, stage. But that's it. So obviously, when the wheel goes up, you can see it'll lift that other door. One more in here. So there's four screws holding this wing half in. Do them nice and tight. There we go. That's it. Last step for this stage it was actually going to be securing a supercharger to the front of this. Now all it is, here's a supercharger that we made before and we're just going to be putting it on there and securing it with the same screws that we used to secure the wing with. Well there we go there guys. Last step, supercharger is installed in the front. Three screws holding that down nicely. I ran that uh, wire down that channel and that is it. A lot of wires in this wing and don't forget we've got to do all this again for the right half so I think in the next when we get the other side of the wing I'm not going to show you all the intricate steps for this whole uh, setup because you've already done the same thing here but there we go there so you can see it's coming along obviously this is going to be sitting around here somewhere but we've done a lot in this uh, in this pack really enjoyable uh, part this one how cool does that look hope you guys enjoyed it if you like it leave a uh, Thumbs up. If you haven't, please subscribe and check out the link for more info if you want to get yourself your own Mitsubishi Zero. Thanks, guys.